Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter, and today I am here with you from my beautiful backyard where there are leaves on the fall, it is autumn, and I'm gonna show you how you can capture the beauty of autumn with a craft that you can do with your kids. So let's go down to the studio and find out how. Okay, I have all my supplies here in the studio, and the project that we're gonna make is um, this 3D textural tree collage and um, it's a really great project to do with your kids or with a classroom full of kids or scouts or um, whatever. It's a really fun project and I think you'll really enjoy it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, get a piece of blue construction paper or blue typing paper. It doesn't have to be very heavy weight. Um, so you can look around and see what you have. And then um, you want to take a piece of brown construction paper and you want to tear some strips. You'll notice it'll tear better one way than the other. And then crumple, crumple up the strips. Then you're going to spread it out. And you're just going to make um, a trunk and some branches. By crumpling it up, you'll get a little texture to it, which is nice. And this is kind of fun because kids can really um, express themselves. They can, you know, do this craft no matter what level they are of a crafter or what age. I just did this at a... Um, at a class at my local library and I had kids ages from 3 to 10 and they all had a really great time with this project. So after you have your pieces torn, you want to take a uh, glue stick and I'm just using a plain washable glue stick from the school supply section at Target and just stick it down to your paper. I'm leaving a little bit of a space because I'm going to put some grass down there in a few minutes. I actually remember doing a project uh, just like this when I was in second grade and um, my classroom teacher showed us how to do it. We didn't have an, a special art teacher back in those days. It was, um, it was our classroom teacher and I remember it being so fun just pasting tissue paper onto, um, onto paper to make a fall tree that it always stuck in my head as a, as a project that I wanted to teach my kids when they got a little older and um, it would just happen to be the perfect classroom, the perfect library craft to do this month. Alright, so you know obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, just stick down some branches, that one's a little long I think. And there we have a little bit of, a, of an idea of where we're going to put our leaves. Alright, before we get to the leaves I'm going to show you how to do the grass and I'm just, I just have a piece of green, um, fluorescent green typing paper. And you can either just tear it and adhere it like that, or you can use scissors. I've got these fringing scissors, but you can use regular scissors. These are just a little bit quicker for the sake of the video. Just to cut um, strips to make it kind of more grass-like. And again, see, I can use my regular scissors and just make more, whoops, I cut right through there. Make more strips that way. And it's just a little quicker with the fringing scissors. And if you don't like that, you don't even have to do that at all, so that's kind of nice. And just use your glue stick again to adhere it to the bottom of your paper. And I would take more time with this in a class, and I would encourage um, my students to take more time with this. But since it is a video, and I want to, you know, I want to get through it a little quickly for you, um, I'm just, I'm rushing a bit. Alright, so see, and even if you do cut straight through like I did, you could just adhere it with glue. And then I like to flip it over with my straight scissors and cut off the excess. Again, this is more of a craft for kids, obviously, but you may use some of these techniques to do some paper piecing or collage work in your scrapbook pages or cards as well. So, you know, always keep that in the back of your mind when you see a technique that um, is designed for kids. Think, well, can I use that somehow in my in my crafting, in my scrapbooking? Would it, would it be at all useful? Like, I mean, the fringing you could use to add um, a page element or a card, decorative card strip or something. So always keep your mind open to those um, options. As you can see, I'm talking a little fast. I've been to Starbucks today. I had to go to Target, so I treated myself. I usually don't go for the $5 coffees, but sometimes you got to do it. All right, so I love crepe paper party streamers. I always save my leftover party streamers and tissue paper that comes when somebody gives me a present. I save the tissue paper. Um, so you can make your little squares for the leaves out of either tissue paper or crepe paper. I'm going to show you a little trick. I wish I discovered this years ago, but um, if you take like a roll of crepe paper streamer and you slide your scissors in a few layers, 
slide it right in there, give it a little wiggle if you have to, and cut, then you'll end up with a nice chunk of paper ready to turn into squares, and then you can just cut off the squares, and it's easy as pie. Took me a while. I wish I realized that before I made my daughter's pinata and I cut all those darn squares by hand. That was so much easier to do it that way. So to um, make your leaves, you want to take a little cup and squirt some white glue in it. I'm just using some Elmer's. I know this is a Tombow bottle, but I like to save these bottles because they're totally awesome, and I refill them with whatever glue I have. And then you're going to need a pencil with an eraser on it. Just It's easier if you have an eraser. And then you are going to take a square of paper. You're going to put your pencil eraser in the middle, and you're going to squeeze and kind of wrap the, um, the tissue paper around just like that. Try not to make a hole. And then you simply glue it down like that. So you just want to pick up a tiny little bit of glue when you do this. Otherwise, it's going to seep through the paper and stick to your pencil. And then you just keep going with different shades of paper until you've put as many leaves on the tree as you like. And of course, I'm not going to do every one of these leaves on there. I mean, I the kids spent roughly 45 minutes uh, a person doing this project, so it was really ideal. I had a really big group of kids. I think I had like 34 kids. And um, I didn't have too many parents hanging out at this particular craft night that I taught because they had some volunteer training at the school, so I offered to let them just drop their kids off and go do their thing and then come back and pick them up. And this really kept them busy, and I didn't have to speak to anybody. They were so well behaved because they were busy and they were enjoying themselves, even the boys. And the boys tend to want to race around the library and, you know, pretend they have lightsabers and chase each other around, and they actually all did the project, so... I was very, very pleased with that. But you can see it does build up pretty quickly, and it does have such a nice texture. You can see if I hold it sideways how much that is raised up from the paper. It's really a lot of fun. So um, I could see this project being very useful uh, for a scouting group or a Sunday school class or, you know, your regular classroom, or even if you're a babysitter and you want something, or a nanny and you want something fun to do with the kids. So just keep filling the end of your branches up with leaves. And um, it's going to look something like this when you're all done. Now these little leaves here, I have a little paper punch that um, gives me that shape. And I just took some little scraps of paper I had lying around. And I just punched a few shapes. If you don't have a punch, that is not a big deal. You could cut some leaves out by hand. It might be tough to do them this small. but Or you could just tear some little bits of paper. So, it, it, I mean, it just has to give you the impression of leaves, but this little punch is really nice. It's by EK Success, and I've had it probably 12 years. It's one of those little lever punches that seem to last a lot better than, um, than the button type of punches. And I've used this so many times in so many kids' classes, and it still is punching as good as the day I bought it. And then this time to glue it down, you could do dip a toothpick into your pot of glue, but since I've got this little precision pen glue dabber. I'm just randomly going to put some dots around for my falling leaves and just randomly stick the leaves down. And um, where I live in Maine, it's very, uh, very colorful this time of year. And we have the sugar maples that have these beautiful gold and red leaves. It's just so pretty. And um, it's so nice to be able to capture the look of fall on your crafting projects. I need a couple more leaves there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just continue filling in the trees until you have as many leaves as you like. And you could stick on your little leaf. You could also use stickers. If you had leaf stickers, that would work as well, too. And I'll show you a few of the other examples my kids made. Um, well, this is the one that I made there. This is one my son made, who is usually way too cool to do any of Mom's craft projects. He's at that age, you know. Um, this is one. One of my daughters made this. Lots of falling leaves in that one. And my other daughter made this one. The grass. I think the fringe grass really adds a lot. So, you know, there you go. It's an easy project that you can do with a classroom full of kids, and it will keep them busy and happy for about 45 minutes. Great, great project to lay out at Thanksgiving while you're trying to get dinner cooked and the kids are all kind of milling about. This is a wonderful project for that. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!